Hi everyone. In this video, I'll be contrasting this bare bird bath. It's one of several that I'll be contrasting today. And so I started with the base coat, which if you are not familiar, just go ahead and watch the video on base coating. Uh, it's important that you have a good application and that it's completely dry. And then of course, my second step as usual is straight white paint mixed with a little bit of the base coat. And it just makes it not quite so thick. And it tones it down a bit so it's not so bright. It'll still look white when I apply it, but that's what I want. So I just get the excess off the brush. And I'm literally wiping it on a shirt that I have wrapped around my waist. Just go carefully along the detail. I always tell people less is more when you're first starting out, so you're used to it. And all I'm doing by applying this contrast is popping the detail out. And the reason I do it is because once it's dry, I can apply color and you'll be able to see the detail in undertones. That's the effect it'll give. So of course I do these in steps. So the next video will be step two. And I'll go over the base color. I do this to most every piece that I paint. Base coat, mostly black. Contrast with the mix of the white with a little bit of that black base coat. This is what I'm doing. I'm just wiping the excess off on this old shirt that I have wrapped around my waist. And it's going to be a little tricky for me to turn this around because it is very heavy. This mold is from Ella Mold out of Starkey, Florida. Gary and Denise Jarman, they do excellent work. I always receive a high quality mold when I order from them.
So that's it for now. This is where I want this piece to be. And I need it to completely dry. And I have several more to do, so I'm going to get going down this line here. And when I come back for step two, just know that you may you will see that there are some whiter parts of the of the base part of it at least because what I do is I go over it again but I use straight white paint and that just pops the detail out a little bit more and I'd rather not do a separate video for that so I'm basically once this dries in about half hour I'll come out I'll take straight white paint in a container and I'll go over it once more and just pop the detail just a, just a tad more and that's just going to help with the tone variation when I start applying color and it just makes my job a lot easier. So that's it. If you find the video helpful, you can subscribe to the channel and I'll be adding all the subsequent steps to complete this particular piece. It's actually my favorite one. So that's it.